Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and secure APIs at any scale. With API Gateway you can create a REST API or WebSocket API that provides an interface for applications to access data, business logic, or functionality from your back-end services, such as workloads running on AWS EC2, code running on AWS Lambda, any web application, or real-time communication applications. In this lab we will create a REST API using API Gateway which will access code running on AWS Lambda. Log into AWS console and search for API Gateway. Click on Get Started. Select REST API. Give API a name and description. We will choose a regional endpoint. Select resources. Create a new resource and give it any name. Resource is nothing but a URL segment. The resource name is your default path to that resource and you can also edit the same. Leave everything else as default. Now you need to decide what action to perform when the resource is invoked. Select the resource, click create a method and define what HTTP request the resource should handle. Select get method and then save it. We can define what we want to do with the get method. Let's first create a mock request. When you click on the get method you see the request response cycle. It shows how data flows in the API. The client depicts the application that uses the API. In the method request section you can define methods authorization settings and different parameters to validate incoming requests. This acts as a gatekeeper for incoming requests. With Integration Request Module, you can transform the incoming data and call the endpoint. Integration Response gets triggered as soon as the action is performed. You can transform the data here if you want, before sending it back to the client. Method Response defines the shape of the response. You can define status code what type of header your response should have and which type of data it should send back. Let's configure integration response to send some dummy data back. Click on integration response. Expand the arrow. Expand mapping templates and click on application JSON. Create a dummy JSON response and save it. Now we need to deploy the API. Click on Deploy API. Now we need to create a stage. Stage helps us manage different versions of API like development, staging or production API. Create a stage called Dev, and deploy the API. Once deployed you will see an invocation URL which you can use to reach the get method of your newly created API. You need to append the resource name to the URL to call the get method. You will notice that our custom JSON object is returned. You can also test your API using the test client. Now that we have understood how API Gateway works let's integrate our get method to a Lambda function. AWS Lambda lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. You pay only for the compute time you consume. 
you can set up your code to automatically trigger from other AWS services such as API Gateway or call it directly from any web or mobile app. Delete and create a new GET method and select integration type as Lambda function. Let's create a new Lambda function. Select author from scratch. Create a method with any name. Select language as Python 3.6 create a new role. Give it any name. Click create function. Once the function is created you can edit and test it. The function has default parameters like event and context. Event receives the event data from the service which is triggering the Lambda function. Context gives us information about execution context like when the function started, remaining time until the function times out etc. Let's add some code and save it. Create a dummy test event and trigger it to test the Lambda function. You will notice the method is getting triggered successfully. Under the monitoring section you will see various details about the method like how many times the method is getting invoked, whether there was any error and also a link to view logs in CloudWatch. Test again and view the log in CloudWatch. Now let's integrate this Lambda function with our API Gateway method. Select the new method and save it. You will notice the Lambda function is shown in the request response lifecycle. You can click on the link here and directly go to the Lambda function. In the Lambda function you will notice API Gateway is shown as a trigger. Let's deploy this get method and test it. Once deployed invoke the API URL to see the output from the Lambda function.
You can also see the Lambda log in CloudWatch. You have seen how we can create a REST API using AWS API Gateway and fetch data from a serverless Lambda function running in the background. Thank you.